So I should be live. At least I think I am. You gonna lay down? Hmm, good girl. All right, uh, just a last minute stream. Uh, I didn't stream last week because uh, basically we were told that the whole world was going to blow up here in Florida. Even though things have been kind of um, nasty. Oh, hold on here. Is this unlisted? Well, we, we're going to have to fix that. Uh, let me just check something here. Uh, public. Done. Save. All right. Okay. There. Now we're public. <laughs> Sorry about that. And let me just go back to live control room. Yeah, it said unlisted. Uh, usually when I do it on my channel, not a problem. But all right, fixed it. Okay. Sorry about that, folks and we should be again live there we go all right so uh it's been pretty nasty out uh it's been pretty nasty uh over the last couple of days just trying to figure out where this hurricane's going to go and quite a scary thing to be honest with you last week we didn't paint um mainly because we were running around trying to get gas and everything else but hey we're here uh last second thing uh, we've got the hurricane actually to our east uh, going by so um, the whole thing is if we lose power or anything like that just know that uh, well we got a hurricane out to the east and something beyond my control that's why I figure I do it now it's supposed to be a little worse later in the day and I wanted to get this in early and spend some time with you guys and paint now this is gonna be part one we're just doing base coats and stuff like that and a couple other things um so we're gonna go down to the table and i'm just gonna show you some of the things that i've already done this morning on my channel rob's tabletop world this isn't a whole promotion for it but i was just kind of hanging out and there goes my dog my dog usually sits with me and paints but then sometimes she hears me yap and doesn't want to do anything so we're going to try to um uh, Lord Lord of the Rings uh, Journey to Middle Earth is a really fascinating game and something I really uh, am looking forward to doing um, and actually playing actually but you know me I can't play it unless I'm pa I paint it so right now we're gonna get um, a bunch of the figures hopefully uh, pretty pretty much where we need to get them and then uh, next week we're gonna be doing the orcs and then the following week I'll be playing the game Monster X Dennis how are you Hello to anybody that is watching out there. So uh, let's do our top down view and uh, let's do our side view. We've got a few different views that we could take a look at. Now I just got the base coats on things. We're going to show you how we're going to have this like a, a ghostly figure and what paints we're going to use uh, um, to get us there. Uh, right now they're just covered with a very uh, basic matte white. Uh, I'm using Army Painter. Uh, uh, army painter paints I always call them army builder paints but uh, army painter paints uh, today instead of the Citadel I will make some Citadel in there here and there hey Pete um, again a last minute stream I don't expect a lot of people to be here um, but you can watch it later uh, our main thing here is we're just going to be getting some base coats on we may even be able to get some of these guys onto these bases that I'm making and I'm really looking forward to uh, 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 putting it uh, getting the figures we're gonna cut that cut them off the bases and get them onto these figures I definitely want to get one of these figures onto here but we'll get this uh, all set uh, I think Frodo will sit on this nice four space uh, these are micro art bases that you can get a miniature market and I'm using like I said uh, army painter because I know that they're gonna be very uh, they're gonna get there's gonna be a huge sale on them and I'm thinking if these are good enough, I'm going to buy a whole bunch of them. All right, listen. I've done enough yakking. Let's get to painting. So, uh, the first thing I want to do is I want to try out some of the strong tone. Now, I, what I put on here is an oak brown, just for now. And I went over this with a, uh, where is it? A uniform gray that really 
kind of worked for what I wanted to do. So what I want to do here is I want to take their strong tone. Or is it? Oh, they got red tone, flesh tone, dark tone. That's what I want. Which is more or less their version of um, uh, new oil. Uh, Lance asked, where did you get the chair? From my son. He got a new one and he gave me the chair. So it was a hand-me-down. Where he got it, I, pff, you got me on that one. Uh, ooh. So we're going to get this in here. Let's go to our overhead shot so we can really get this in here. Okay, so I'm going to put a little bit of this strong tone in here. And, and we're going to use a, a, a bit of this uh, throughout. Now this is a little bit of a risk because I've never used this uh, strong tone before. But hopefully it's going to do exactly what I want. I want to darken up this figure. Okay, I, that's all I want to do. So I'm just going to try to get a good amount of this in here. And all right, yeah, that's exactly what I wanted to do. That's all I wanted to do. All right, I want to come in there and get in the recesses. So I'm going to have to move this around a little bit. And this is the first time I'm using uh, the Army Builder version of this, and I, I actually kind of like it. Look at that. Uh, let's just go on heavy there over the face. You want to be careful. You want to. You, all you want to do is pull the detail out. So you see what I'm doing here? That's all I'm trying to do here is pull out the detail. And what we want to do is just darken this guy up really, really nice. And hopefully everybody can see me. Zabalik, how are you, my friend? And just, you can go over everything here and it's not going to hurt anything. So we're going to go over the stone, all right? Because we're going to lighten that up, you know, because he's going to pummel somebody with that, obviously. And all I want to do, I really want to get this wash in here. So, first of all, let's get these bases out of the way, right? Right? Hmm. I just noticed I missed a spot. All right, we can fix that. We got legless here. Uh, we got to fix one of the things that we're working on here. So, we're going to put some more of this dark tone in here. And this stuff is, I'm going to put a lot because I'm going to be using it on a couple of other figures uh, here in a minute and we're gonna go over everything because we're gonna dry brush over this guy we're gonna darken everything up now listen the way I do things is just I, I keep things very simple all right we're not we're not going for any awards here and all we're trying to do is get you guys to pick up some brushes here at the board game geek and just learn how to paint that's all and the reason I'm using these army builder paints is I really want to see how they work out because I know there's a huge sale coming up at miniature market that I'm going to be buying a whole bunch of these at. Paints are expensive and and especially you know the point I'm trying to make here is to, to see how these are to see if they're good enough for you guys for beginners to use is that all I want to do is I really want to get you guys to be able to get into this try it and if you don't like painting at least it didn't cost you a lot to get involved in it All right? and that's the main thing it'd be a shame if you spent like a hundred dollars and then said wow painting stinks and you, you know this is a very popular game and you guys can try it and, and do it and play and you can paint it yourself too it's not hard like I said all I did was I take a little bit of gray. Now, I really want this to go in there like I have it here. And I really want to work that into his face, into his hand, and everywhere else just to darken him up. Now, that's all going to sit in these recesses. And let's see if we can get a better angle of it on the other camera. Oh, there we go. So you guys can see. And uh, that's all I want. That's all I'm looking for right off the bat. I want to make sure I get every inch of them. Because you're going to notice if you don't and we're going to be cutting him off this base anyways because I want to show you these micro art bases these things are phenomenal and they really make a big difference all right let's get that in there all right I'm pretty happy with that I'm just checking and making sure that we got every bit of them and so forth and so on now this is going to be a three-part series um, this is part one okay and um, the rest of it
Now, all the, the base coating I did on my channel, but don't worry about that. All you got, want to worry about is what we do here. Okay, at Board Game Geek TV. And like I said, every week we're going to be on, we'll be on later next week, you know, around 7 or 6 or 7 o'clock in the evening. It just happens there's a hurricane going through, and well, I don't have to work through hurricanes. All right. And we're just going to touch this here. Now, if you hear the dogs barking or the power goes out, I'm sorry. I can't. I can't uh, do anything about that. My, the queen will be coming home soon. Nice. We're going to let him dry, and then we're going to come back to him. How's that? I like that. Uh, next thing, while well, we got some of this out here, is well, Mr. Frodo Baggins. I want to go over his his pants a bit. And I want to be careful because I, I don't want to really darken things up too much. But this cloak, I really kind of want to dark. I want to darken this cloak up on him. And you see how that just kind of everything that I wanted to do right there just happened in an instant. Boom. And we're going to go back over him. You see how that brings out the detail? It just sits up and takes takes care of everything that we want to. Uh, now I want to use a, a smaller brush for this um, because I just that big brush isn't going to cut it, is it? And we're just going to move that around nicely. Uh, we want to go around his neck here. There we go. All right, because we're going to use a, several different washes on our friend here, and we're going to bring that into there because what we're going to do. Let's take a little bit of that off. There we go. And these washes really do a wonderful job of bringing out the detail. But what I really want to do is I want to darken up this, but I really don't want to. Um, you know, I, I, I should have waited on this because I'm going to have to go over this anyways with a wash over the metallics that I'm going to put on. But that's okay because we have a, a dark wash that we're going to put on. So, there we go. Frodo. No, it's not Frodo. It's Bilbo. <sighs> Come on, Rob. Stay with us, right? Right? All right. Just a little bit there. And we're going to do the same thing with some of these other characters that we have here. All we want to do is darken everything up a little bit because we're going to be bringing that back out uh, in due time. Mm -hmm. And I don't want to get it on the skin. All I want to do is kind of work everything in here. There we go. And move it around. Don't want to get it on her face. All I want this wash to do is just kind of go over and bring out I want, I want everything to darken up, basically. And that's what I'm trying to achieve here. And that's what I'm getting. We're darkening up everything that we painted on our base coats. And all we're going to do is just go over and highlight. We're going to darken everything up and bring everything back in there. Uh, we can do that if even if we wanted to, but we want to save that. Because there's a couple of washes that we're going to do. First of all, we don't want to get any on their skin because, well, to be honest, we're going to go over that with a different wash. All right. Boom. Darken it up. Bring it back. Especially this one. Now, this looks, you know, suspect. All right. But we put that wash on there, and and we we tone down that green. That's what I want to do. I want to tone down that green, and I want to get in those recesses and show all the things that well that I need to paint over. And this is just a simple version of this. You get your base coats on, your greens, depending on what you want, your grays, and everything in there. And again, we don't want to go over 
any of the skin so we're being very we want to control what we're doing here and we're going to go over a couple a couple different types of see how that 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 just gets right into that those recesses and now all of a sudden you're creating shadows and lights and that's all we're trying to do we're trying to give that realism of 3d there we go i'm just going to work that in there just a nice simple version to get to the table very quickly and boom you're off and running playing this wonderful wonderful game which i'm i'm in i'm really itching to play i don't i've been really wanting to play this but you know i can't play it unless it's painted because then everybody gives me a hard time especially since i do a lot of painting on my channel it becomes a whole thing hey rob how come these aren't painted so instead of wanting to hear that, um, we just kind of do that. Is Sting going to glow? I don't know. It got me there. All right, and we're going to do the same thing here. We're going to take a little bit more of this and work this out. Again, this becomes a whole thing where I really want to make this shine. And in here, we want to be very careful. There we go. And we're going to go over. Let's not get her skin. And then she has this wonderful harp in the back that we want to take care of. Really want that to shine. All right. And... We'll throw a little on here because we're gonna we're gonna lighten all this up anyways. It's not gonna hurt anything if we throw some on here. Just moving it around, getting it in the recesses so it stands out, and then we're gonna just take and really just come back over this in detail. This is a perfect time to do this. All right, and put those over there. Uh, our boy Legolas. We're gonna do the same doggone thing. You gotcha. And just come down. And really let that wash get in there. Don't want to hit. I really don't want to hit it. I don't want to hit his flesh. All right, so we want to be very careful in here. And here, we're going to come over this staff. We still have to put the metallics in here yet. We've got golds and stuff like that that we're going to go into. Careful not to get his hair. All right, we're going to go over that with something different. There we go. Now just a couple drops more. A couple drops more will do us. And we should be all right. All right. There we go. And we're gonna do the orcs that we have to do yet. And that's we're gonna we're gonna finish these up next week, and then uh, we'll, I, I believe we'll be able to start the orcs very easy in, into this section here. Like I said, very simple easy to do paint job we're going to be on for about an hour today just doing a couple things and we will definitely be back next week but again at a later time as we once again we're going to be doing this and this ready to play and that's what's most important at this point a little spot I missed over there but hey mistakes happen all the time and trust me we're gonna lighten all this up we're gonna do a whole bunch of different things right now we're just really just trying to stick out these recesses and this is just a again like I said a simple version CA of Wolf Clan how are you how are you? I hope you all are safe if you are in Florida. 
And uh, well, my heart goes out to all those poor people over in that went through so much in Bermuda. Ugh, the Bahamas, excuse me. No, it's Bermuda. Ugh, Bahamas. I mean, what a heart wrenching, heart wrenching thing to see. I mean, it's just very, very difficult to to watch some of that video. All right, just gonna take a little more of this. Really, just go over again, and you can see what I'm I'm doing. I'm darkening up those greens and everything. The very bright greens, but don't worry, we're going to come back, and we are going to really make that stand out and you're going to see exactly what I'm talking about and he I've already made I think either he or the Legolas that I'm going to put on this on this base I'm not sure which one I'm going to put on but I think it'll be really kind of cool to put them on these these micro art bases these things are just fabulous fabulous all right so let's push him over here now, the next thing I think we want to do is, oh, whoa, how about that? Cheap brush. <laughs> um, we're going to take a lighter gray here, if I can find it. Yes, we're going to take some ash gray, and we're going to go over this here. And... What we're gonna do it's just gonna take a little bit that's all we need not a whole lot just a little just a little dab there all right let's go to our overhead shot boom and all we want to do here just gonna take and now we're gonna take it all off kind of kind of want to take it all off Rob if and when you do Bilbo's sword sting. Ah, gotcha. I'm sorry. Uh, I thought you meant sting as in the wrestler sting is glowing to go to glow west wrestling. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> what does that have to do? Uh, if you make it glow, please record it and show us how you do it. Yes, of course. Uh, that'll be next week. More next week than than this week. That's for sure. All right, let me just make sure I get enough of this on here. And all I want to do is, all I'm doing is just going over this rock formation. This is almost a, a, a chaotic type of rock formation. We're getting this this beastie rating. And that's all, that's all it is. It's just very lightly going over and just touching it ever so slightly. It's just little itty bitty things. Little itty bitty things, and then come underneath. Whoa, I didn't glue it in yet. All right, so that's all we want to do there. Now we'll glue it in, and you just take any kind of regular glue that you want and go, boop. you know, make sure you get a little there, a little there in the corner there. Boom. And then, all right, that's all I want to do. I, I want to actually make that a little bit hair hair lighter. So um, what I will do is I do have some white here. All right, some matte white, and I'm just I'm not worried about cleaning my brush or anything like that. And I'm taking that. I'm going to grab a little bit more of that. And I'm just wiping it off my brush. Wiping it off my brush. And just getting as much as I can off. There we go. See? And Whoa! Come on, kid. <laughs> All right. There. Watch how I, I do this, okay? So we have our gray that we went lightly over. And now I just don't even want to touch it, really. I just ever so slightly. It's just the littlest of touches. It's like taking it, and I always say this, it's like tickling it with a feather. Just a little bit, just a little bit, just a little bit. All right. 
just the little, just the littlest of touches. See what that does? It brings that formation, gives us that three-dimensional look. And that's all we want to do. That's it. That's it. Very lightly come in here. And those of you that are popping in, thanks so much for popping in today. Uh, hey, we're back painting on Board Game Geek, my favorite place to be. All right. And uh, sorry we weren't here last week. We were getting ready for the hurricane that was supposed to be here that last Friday but turns out it's here today okay if that makes any sense and you see how I just I keep on hitting the high points very very easily and then you know this is oh it's the camera here <laughs> that's all I want I want that chaotic look on there uh, let's let's change uh, the camera angle we have a few camera angles here we have this one uh, we have the side one, the overhead with me there. Hi, how are you? And then we have a side one. So I'm also testing a, a bunch of different angles. So we can do a lot of really great things, hopefully, uh, going forward in the future. So we got this base already. Now, the key is to try to get these ghastlies all set. Now, I'm not worried about this base here because they're going on this base. And I think they'll look real cool on that base. But we got to get them where we need to get them. And that's what's the most important thing uh, in, in this episode here. So, um, hmm, what do I want to do? Okay, I want to grab a different brush, first of all. And uh, I've got this paint. It's, um, it really, it really works. It's actually a GW paint, believe it or not. And uh, I can go Night Gaunt Gloom, or I've got something else in here that I could pull out somewhere. And it is a Hex, Fan Hex Flame Wrath. Hex you know, either one will really kind of sit up on, on the figure. And I just... I'm kind of arguing with myself over which one to use. And you're going to find that that's going to happen, where you're going to have moments where you're going to go, well, maybe this, maybe that. Um, I even have a, you know, do I want to make them more green or more bluish? Uh, and and uh, it's kind of a hard decision here. I think in the movie they were more this color, where they kind of, it was a kind of a haunting bluish color in the movie. So that's what I'm going to go with. Oh, boy. Is that what I want to go with? Well, let's paint one this way, and we'll paint one the other way. How about that? They don't have to be the same. Jeez. Uh, and we're going to take and work this in here over the white. And we're going to see how this all kind of pans out. Oh, I kind of like this. Kind of has that eerie feel to it. And that's all this paint is going to do. And we're really going to work it around. Well, that might work. But we're going to do the other one a different color. How's that? I think that'll work too. So you, all it is is just a, a, a white paint, um, a matte white that I have underneath. And then we just kind of work this other color, this night haunt gloom over it. And it's just, and we, when, when it dries, we can actually go back over with the white a little bit and dry brush, just like we did on, on there. Well, all right. Let's make sure we have every angle of it. I'm gonna wipe this off the brush here. So we, that's one version of it. And what I want to do here is I want to take there we go. Okay. And that's what I want to do. I want to I want to take a dry brush 
really just kind of top up some of the excess here. So I have some of that gloomy look to it. See, I'm actually taking it off my brush. And then just yes because we want the gloom that 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 ethereal look <laughs> if that's if that's a word <laughs> when i say something i invent new words all right there we go just take that off a nice even strokes make sure you keep your strokes e even or else you're going to end up with with some some sh uh, brush strokes in there so you want to just keep everything nice and in front of you all right well that that's kind of creepy i kind of like that make sure that we got every angle perfect so we're going to put him aside and we're going to let him dry but hold on there we have to test our second color so I'm gonna bring this guy forward and then we're gonna decide which one and I'm, gonna, I'm gonna let you guys tell me which one you guys think you like better I'll make a decision as well all right so we're gonna take this guy this is more of a haunting green and ooh, that's kind of creepy too I don't know, I kind of like that. No, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't want too much of it running all over the place. I don't know, I kind of like the green, I'll be honest with you. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? I'm very curious to find out what you guys think. Personally. I like them both. But, if I had to pick one, if I had to pick one, I think I'd go with this green. I think I would go with this green for sure, for sure. This kind of reminds me of a... Uh, very haunting very very haunting and all of you I hope you all are having a wonderful Wednesday and uh, geez it's been it, it has been 11 days of just complete misery with this storm just sitting through it and it has not been a joy and we're right in the middle of it but it's almost over and then life can get back to normal like i said every wednesday you'll see us here uh you know we'll miss the occasional wednesday here or there you know that's just life things in life get in the way and uh well, we'll do our best to come and paint here every wednesday on board game geek tv it doesn't take anything green once darkened should look good since david Hey, David, how are you? Thank you, by the way, for your input. I have to agree with you. I kind of, I like that. <laughs> yeah, make weird noises and stuff. All right. Yep, yep, yep. I have to agree with David. So you know what? I'm going to paint... I'm gonna paint the next guy this. Let's do it, huh? Let's do it. Hopefully these guys can dry by the time the stream's over. What time is it? It's 12.30? Okay, yeah, we've got enough time. I think we got enough time to do it. I'll at least like to get them on, on their base. least like to get that on there is oh sounds like the Queen's home so forgive the dogs for barking folks like I said when you're live anything can happen except if you're one of the professionals 
we have everything go wrong here. And just getting this on here. See, I like this. Just make it. See, if you have a little bit of that white sticking through, it ruins the whole, the whole premise of this. But you want to make sure that you really cover every inch of it. Nothing pops through. So taking this little bit of extra time to just kind of move it around and make sure that it's in every gap really does make a big difference here. It really does. Plus you want to do it quickly because I got the air conditioner on here. And the studio. And again, thank you, David. I hope you're having a good day. Oh, see, see, see how you missed that one little spot. You, you could see it from there. Yeah. Well, we can't have that. We can't have that. No, sir. And I just want to make sure we got everything here. Yeah. All right. There you go. Well, I like that a lot. I think it's going to be cool when we cut them off. All right, so I'm going to move these out of the way, let these dry. All right. And let's rinse this off. All right, there we go. But we'll move to another brush here. All right, so we got this base ready. Hopefully we can cut these off and glue these uh, glue one on. That'd be kind of cool. Uh, next thing I want to play around with is these wolves. Now these wolves, I used a castle gray. Is it on these guys? Yep, castle gray. And uh, really, was it a castle gray or was it? No, yeah, it was a castle gray. I just want to make sure. I don't want to tell you the wrong thing. And Next, what I want to do is, I think I'm wrong. I used a dark stone. There we go. I used a dark stone. Kabuki! How are you, my dear? One of my favorite people in the world. Um, yeah, I used a dark stone on this, and... It almost gave me kind of a brownish feel. So I'm going to come back with this castle gray over the top. And we're going to go lighter and lighter on these guys and really try to try to get something here. So uh, I'm just going to shove a little of this in here. And I'm not going to add any water to it. I'm not going to water it down or anything like that. Uh, because all I want to do here... And this is kind of the gray I want to go over uh, with a tubby here. And you can see what I'm going for. All right. So we're going to dry, dry brush this. And I'm just going to take a little bit of this. This is a, um, just going to bring this out a little bit. So I'm going to take and work this into my brush here like so. And, uh, yeah, exactly. Here we go. Hold on. Sorry, guys. I was just moving something around to make sure I saw it. All right. Because I want to see what you guys say. And I try to interact with you guys a little bit. And that's why we do this live. So we can answer questions and help along. And, and the most important thing is get you to pick up a brush. Come on now. You guys can do this. All right. So, again, I just want to take this off and just... Uh, very lightly come over the top just like we did with the other thing just take and work it in to some of this fur and just get that to stand up a little bit in fact I hate this brush <laughs> which is a common saying for me uh, sometimes you feel a brush and other times you don't and I'm, done, I'm not feeling that brush so that one's going to go back in the pile. And we're just going to find another one real quick. I got like 5,000 of them over here. And sure enough, I found a different one. So we're going to come back on. 
it's it's real funny and I was talking about this before are you getting a lot of weather where you are yeah we're, we're, we're getting knocked around a little bit I, I like I said uh, I think it's supposed to be more later in the afternoon uh, that's why I'm going now instead of tonight uh, I want to make sure I got my BGG stream in and uh, you know we'll be all right I think it's far enough out that we shouldn't have any problems um, I think we're very lucky un unlike uh, unlike Bermuda uh, Bahamas excuse me keep on thinking uh, Bermuda because the Queen's going there soon um, and uh, uh, you know my thoughts and my prayers and I'm sure all yours are are with them when I heard that Prime Minister talk uh, yesterday it was very heart-wrenching to hear what he had to say and how tough it's been now because I don't have a lot on here I can actually rub this in a little harder and get the effect that I want to and I just want to hit the higher edges so there's two ways to do it if you have a lot on there you can see how we kind of work that in there and I, I, I I brush lighter so the more I have on my brush the lighter I brush the less I have on my brush the harder I can use the, br the brush and there we go and we're gonna build these guys out too we're gonna work on their mouths and their their evil eyes and we want these guys to really be nasty and cause our heroes nothing but problems because the better and the better they're painted Okay, the more trouble they have. Yeah, wise to do it while you have power, just in case. Exactly. Exactly. And I went, uh, Kabuki, I went for a while. As a matter of fact, I missed you there. We were there, I think I've been painting since 9 o'clock this morning. Here uh, uh, on Rob's Tabletop World and, and elsewhere. Footage of the Bahamas is really stunning. It looks like a war zone. It, it, it is absolutely horrific and it's horrifying. And uh, I'm going to raise some money and try to help uh, with some of the. Some of the, I, I actually have friends down there, so uh, we're going to do what we can to help them in any way I can. I've got some painted things I'm going to put up, and we're going to do what we can to raise some money. Uh, that's what we do on my channel, anyways. Because God knows it's not for the content. <laughs> now you see how I have this 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 nice feel to to him. He's darker underneath, but he has that that feel. His body is kind of where I want to. I can go one more layer out, a little bit lighter, and that's really going to make him stand out there. I started this guy and I never got to finish him, so let's let's do that. And then we're going to take care of the big guy. I really want to go over um, him. Right now, this is just really doing uh, some highlights, and then we're going to be doing detailing uh, next week. You're going to you're going to see how this all transforms and how we go about things. And uh, I, I know you guys can pick it up. Like I said, um, we're using we're using these army builder. Is it army the army painter? I always call them army builder painters, but there aren't. They're army, <laughs> army painter um, paints, and uh, I know for a fact that they're gonna. There's gonna be a huge sale where you're gonna be able to get them uh, really, 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 really cheap. And uh, if you're thinking of painting for the first time, it'd be a good time to pick those up. And you can get some cheap brushes and stuff like that, and then you're off and running. All right, I bet you can you can get in you can buy about twenty dollars worth of paint, which would probably get you twenty paints, believe it or not, and a two two or three dollar brush, and you're off and running, and you're off and running. You can paint these with these same type of paints. I guarantee it. So, like I said not an advertisement here I, I just really want people to start painting I really want people 
start picking up brushes and painting your own stuff you can do it you can you know people always talk about well i'm looking for a game that that you know it's thematic well painting your own miniatures sometimes really brings out some of the theme not only that but you're invested because you know like this wool like this wolf i'm painting you know you think back you know i painted this wolf i did this myself and now he's going to attack and destroy my heroes why did i even bother to paint him <laughs> or at least he looks cool doing it <laughs> right remember more paint on the brush lesser the pressure lesser the pressure there we go see just nice and easy nice and easy and just taking our time did Gabby leave me? yep she did mom must be home and when Gab leaves that's it game over and you can use the same spot Helen Adams believe me I am artistically disinclined and I can do it you see and if Helen says she can do it anybody can do it no cut on you Helen I'm just agreeing with what you said uh, just a touch of water here on this brush sometimes you just gotta clean it off a little bit there we go and just over the top there we go just make it sit or just turn your paper a little bit and start a new spot Mr. Escobar how are you nice I will buy this game today well that's good to hear you should this uh, I heard it was a great game I'm looking forward to playing it I really am really really am all right there we go there we go and just nice and easy and we're gonna rebase most of these guys because you want to look cool going on the board and I and I heard they're gonna do a whole bunch of expansions and stuff and it just sounds like that this is gonna be just the game and I'm looking forward to it all right there's our wolves now we still have a lot of work to do with these these boys all right now this guy here all right we've got him nice and dark and everything we really want to bring now this is where you really want to put some work in what the heck happened and always use your cheap brushes like me I like them gray but I I, I like a softer not a, a more beige type of gray to make him look more sickly if that makes sense and just coming over the top now look look what I'm doing here I really want you to see this and understand that all you need to do is just very lightly work it out it's easier to add more paint than it is to take the paint off and just coming over and bringing out the high point notice how I'm not taking out any of the detail that I've worked in here and this dark stone is actually a very nice color it's a very strong and very nice color and just nice and easy just nice and easy And just let that sit up you know we're really bringing out the muscle tone in this big this big guy here you know we're just letting we're letting the brush do the work we're letting the model do the work because you know it really has some wonderful detail that you can pull out of here and just taking your time wait till we put them on one of those big bases wait till you see what I'm gonna do with the micro art bases and how cool they are all right and that's what we're look at what we're doing here see how we're bringing him out all right 
Uh, 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 uh. And all I want to do here is just set this up. Do the same thing on the back end of them. All I'm trying to do is just bring out. And we're actually going to add another layer to this. But all you're doing is just... I mean, look what's happening here. Whoa, whoa, my hand's in the way. I just look up at the camera and I go, whoa, whoa. Come on, you can't do his legs over here and have that set up there. You don't need a lot of paint on the brush. Okay, you take it off and you just work your way in here. What paints do you recommend without uh, breaking your pocket? Well, um, this isn't an advertisement, but these paints here these army painter paints are going on sale um, at miniature market uh, they're going to be really cheap and it's going to be either in the next week or so um, so you can get a bunch of these really 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 cheap and i mean ridiculously cheap also you know the citadel paints i really suggest they're very good um, they have some uh, you can go to vallejo it, you know it doesn't matter where you go um, you want to get good paints. You don't want to get cheap paints. But if you really want to paint this, um, I believe that, and I think I'm pretty right, that they're in the next couple of days or a week or so, that they are going to have a massive sale. And I'll let everybody know because I want everybody to save some money and I want you to pick things up and paint. And uh, I'm really enjoying these because they really give you good coverage and they're they're doing a nice job. That doesn't mean that I don't like my Citadel paints. I do love my technical paints from Citadel. And this isn't like a advertisement. I'm just trying to save you guys a few shekels. And that's what it really comes down to. After all, here we go. I'm just taking it, just, whoa, 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 whoa. Working one spot and going around. Now, you remember how dark he was. Remember how dark I had him. And now, all of a sudden, he has light and shadows and things that I, I want. And now, I can go even lighter with him, which I, I plan on doing. Because I don't plan on having him sitting in, in this gray abyss. And just, look at that. Just nice and light. I'm just taking my brush. But I'm leaving that detail. I want to leave that detail. Look at this crease in, in between his chest there. That gives you good shadow. And it makes them look all jacked up and everything like that. And that's exactly what I'm trying to do. Is bring out what is already an excellent model. This is a beautiful, beautiful model. And uh, my hat's off to everybody at um, uh, Fantasy Flight. For really doing a wonderful, wonderful job yet again. Yet again. Because they have been on top of their game and they've done a great job. Look at that. That's exactly what that's exactly what I want. Probably go over it with just one more color, nice and easy. But just taking our time and building them outwards. All right, there we go. What time do we got here? No, oh, it's almost one o'clock. We almost spent an hour together, folks. All right. All right. So I want to show you guys something. And first of all, I love these bases. Now, when we come back next week, we've got we've got you know, we're really going to be in that point where we're going to be able to finish all these models here. And you know, you know, we've got some of the heroes here that we're gonna we're gonna be working on Aragorn. Uh, we're gonna finish up uh, Bilbo. Um, couple of the other figures here we're going to start building these outward okay and of course uh you know Gimli and Aragorn you know we've got some work we've darkened them up now we're going to want to start bringing them out and we're going to add our metallics okay we're going to add our swords and and stuff like that and we're going to do, we're actually going to do our wolves as well we're going to be doing you know some more work on our on big boy here all right we really want to start selling this guy and make him who he is. Then 
um, halfway through the stream we should be where we want to be and then what we'll do uh, and next week I'll go about two hours I think um, let me see which one's dry or yeah this will work yeah this will work um, and what we'll do is we'll start working on the orcs and get ready wish I could drink some wine with this video but I can't because I'm working <laughs> well guess what Mr. Escobar uh, next week we'll be on later in the day I'm only here because uh, it's hurricane <laughs> there's a hurricane so um, but you know something you may see more videos on the weekend and stuff like here I do have free reign to do what I like here thanks to Mr. Alden Scott Alden uh, from Board Game Geek I want to thank him for letting me do this each and every week with you now all I'm gonna do is I'm taking this blade here and I'm gonna cut this this figure right off this base it's not that hard all you gotta do is just take your time take your time and cut away from yourself make sure you cut away from yourself I don't want anybody to get hurt because of me like I'm gonna grab up here and I'm going to cut away from myself and you can feel the plastic because it's not a great plastic okay uh, the bases at least you know and I'm gonna cut this guy right off that base look at that all right come back here all right now because these guys are so creepy I want to trim this up a little bit and this is nothing to do this, this is not a big deal this is not hard okay it's just a very simple thing cut them off the bases and these micro art bases these micro art bases are fantastic uh, absolutely fantastic and these are the chaos bases and I just think I, I you know you remember in the movie when when they were coming out and over and going after Frodo I always think of these guys on these bases so I always want to put them on these bases I'm going to show you how this looks once I get my finger unstuck there now we're going to work on him a little bit more but I'm going to put all I'm going to change all these bases out like I said they have forged ones that are really cool and uh, let me show you that wait is it there yeah it is there you know easy to paint just some nice soft browns and some greens and I took a little grass and I stuck it in there uh, they're easy to build they're beautiful and they're really good they really are going to enhance what you're trying to do here and whoop, 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 whoop. Hold on here. We'll pull that away. There we go. All right, and you know, just like that, you got that ghoul on 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 these bases, these horrible bases, and it does make a difference. They're already built. They already do a wonderful job, and then you put this on here, and and now all of a sudden you got. I'm going to put some of the orcs on here and just really just sell these these wonderful wonderful things. I was thinking of putting them on on the stone ones, but nah. I, I like the chaos bases a little bit better and how they're going to do. And the forest bases are going to be perfect because I can see once I get Bilbo all taken care of, just having him stand over this. I think it's just going to look really cool and just give that a really unique feel especially with the glowing sword all right so there's a quick look at everything uh let's go to our side is that our side view or top down uh, the top down view well we could do that too kind of show you guys what's going on here got that on there now i kind of like that We've got his skin just about ready. Now we want to work on, on some of the other pieces here. His his uh, tunic, if you want to call it, or uh, some of the rope under here, and then his facial structure. Um, again, we've we've got a lot of highlighting to do with uh, all our heroes, and we're going to be taking them off the bases. We wanted to darken everything up, so and then add our metallics, and really just 
work. You'll, you'll see a lot more next week as we're, we're starting to really start to piece this together to where we, where we want it. All right, let's go up top. Hey, there you go. Whew. And what? Hour? Okay. There you go. Hour. And we got and we showed you a lot of different things, a lot of different techniques. I'll turn my hat around. <laughs> uh, a lot of different techniques. We're we're going with the four cameras. Uh, this one here, the two here, and the one up top. Uh, I'm gonna look, watch this back, and see what we could do to give you a better angle. Uh, I really want to do our best and give you everything here at Board Game Geek TV. Uh, it's important to me to, to do the best I can and give you the best. I also want to take this time and congratulate the Brothers Murph. Uh, really happy to have them on board. Uh, I haven't had a chance to talk to them. I, I don't get a much. I only see them at conventions most of the time. But it's nice to have th that type of guys on our team. And, uh, you know, between Rodney and Chaz and them. And then, you know, you add myself. You know, you have so many different spectrums of things, you know, and it, and it just makes for a fantastic channel. And don't forget Game Night and Scott and, and, and all the things that they do. Uh, and, of course, Eric Martin, that beautiful genius. Uh, let me tell you something. Uh, I, I've been reading some of his stuff, and it's just absolutely fantastic. And then some of his reviews are just, it's just a, a, a fantastic, fantastic thing to watch. And it's actually made me pick up a few games. So, uh, you know, just keep stay with us. You're going to find that, that we have a lot of things going on. Uh, keep subscribing. Keep being a part of this. Uh, I'm going to be live every week. I'm not going to do anything ta taped. I want to be here. I want to be with you guys. And I want to be able for you guys to ask questions and do things and, and see what you think. You see me, and you also see me make a lot of mistakes. And I want to show you how to fix the mistakes because a lot of videos that you see, they they don't show you, you know, when they make the mistakes and how they fix it. It's, hey, I did this, I did this, I did this, and it comes out beautifully. And then you go and make the mistake, and then you go, well, how do I fix it? Well, I'm going to show you how, because I make plenty of mistakes. And uh, like I said, I'm not the greatest painter in the world, but I, I, I want you to pick up brushes. I want you to pick up paint. And I want you to try to paint some of these beautiful games. You're in a golden age of, of, uh, of, of board games where they come out with all this beautiful, beautiful stuff. Whether, whether it has miniatures or not, you know, uh, the quality of a board game today is just absolutely fantastic. And why not enjoy it and be immersed and spend time with your family and your loved ones or, or your friends and just enjoy yourself. And that's what it's all about. Hey. That's enough. I talked enough. I said enough. I've done enough. And uh, we'll be back next week. We'll finish up our heroes and some of our villains. And guess what? Then we'll head right into the orcs. And then I'll be doing it. I'll be playing the game live on my channel because it all, they all painted up and ready to go. Listen, I want to thank all of you for spending some time with me this afternoon, uh, especially since I just did this last second. It means a lot to me. And for those of you that see this later on, hey, Next Wednesday, or anywhere between 5 and 7 uh, Eastern Standard Time, come spend some time with us, and I think you'll really enjoy it and have a great time. Until next time, it's your old pal Rob for all the wonderful guys and gals here at Board Game Geek and your old pal Rob. Be kind to somebody, because not only going to make them feel good, it's going to make you feel good as well. And... Uh, all I can say is tomorrows are never guaranteed. I love you all. Thank you for watching this. Smash that like button. Smash that subscribe button to Board Game Geek if this is your first time here. And we will see you next week with part two of Lord of the Rings Journey into Middle Earth. Thanks. <laughs>